He is, without a doubt, my favorite Ohio State Buckeye fan. Um, there's not a very long list, to be very honest with you. The only. Hey, what is the list? Yeah. Uh, well, there's Graham Ray Hall, and that's it. I can't stand anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. Uh, good to see my friend at uh, in in I guess in in Honda partnership, as well as from uh, RLL Racing from IndyCar. Good to see you. Thank you, Graham Thanks, Ray sir. Hall. Good to see you, man. So uh, here's how it goes. Brockman, over the weekend, okay, I'm taking in, it's the only way to put it, the uh, Peach Bowl yes. in Atlanta. Yes, yes. Um, not going well. No, no, no. It's not going well. I look down at my phone and I see a text, and it is from our guest, <laughs> Graham Rahal. Let me see if I can uh, get this. See if we put it up on the screen. I was gentle. I'm honestly shocked. I didn't expect this at all. My response is, <laughs> dude. dude. <laughs> and you don't even take the hint. You're like, I know big names are missing, but man. Because <laughs> I was shocked. Like, for once in my life, I'm like, you know what? Just want the Big Ten to win here, okay? For once in my life, particularly against the SEC. And once again, oh. mm. Harbaugh. Oh. Now, is there any part of you at all, Graham, that thought in between your temples? You're a smart man. You're a very smart man. You come from excellent stock. No. That you thought I wouldn't want to hear from you at all at that point in time? No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and, you know, I thought I was kind of being nice, but I was also still getting in my sort of Michigan, you know. And this year, I didn't text you leading up to the game. I, I was I was quiet. I didn't make a show appearance until now, so we didn't Correct. have a bet. Correct. And I thought that maybe this year wasn't going to be Ohio State's year. Which is why you didn't. So text I was quiet. Me. No, 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 no. That's what exactly. You didn't because you thought. But I could have rubbed year, that in. I could have rubbed that in like crazy. I, 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 was, I was gentle. But the number of. I got. Brockman, you know me as well as yep. anybody else, and you tell Del Tufo, the number of times. When after I wrote dude and then you wrote back, you know, I know guys are missing, but man, <laughs> the, the number of times I wrote in something so profane that we wouldn't have been able to show it on the Rich Eisen Show television screen right there and erased it because yeah. I thought to myself, you know what? He's just a, he's just a nice guy. Yeah, I, I thought I was being nice. I mean, I, I thought I was being somewhat gentle for what the, the score was. Um, right. You know, and the performance <laughs> was. I thought I, I wasn't. Being overly overly harsh. No, but you uh, so my response was, "Are you in L.A.?" I invited you, you on you the did, show, which was very generous. And now you. here you are, yes. because I I thought to myself again, you know what? It's possible you are just the nice guy that you are, but you were just you were needling me a little bit. No, I was I trying know. to be. I thought I was being gentle because actually, for the first time, like I said, I was hoping Michigan was going to win mm, because geez. I just wanted the Big Ten to look good. Mm, yeah, and I was. Sitting there listening to this thing, I wasn't watching it. I was driving home from right. from Lake Tahoe. I'm listening to. It. I'm like, are you? What is happening right now? Right. And so, you know, when I, when there's a comment to be made, the first guy I thought of was you. Now, are you are you when your Buckeyes are struggling against Indiana? No. And then yeah. are, are you are you texting David Letterman the same stuff too? Like, hey man, you, you guys are no. looking good, but too bad. No, you don't do that, do you? No, I normally you don't do that. Do I you? normally text all my media buddies in Columbus, Ohio. Like, what is happening yeah. right now? Yeah, I do sometimes. <laughs> Why get, are we doing this? I do sometimes get like bitching, complaining texts from you, and I'm like, that, this is the wrong. Oh, spot. I do. I need somebody spot. to vent. I just have to have. You know, sometimes things come up, and I just have to. I've got to say something. The dude wins ninety percent of his games. What are you complaining about? No, I know. Which dude? You're gonna Our dude. Uh, yeah, Urban. Yeah, he's the man. You are going to miss him. Look, so you I'm know, I think we will. What do you mean you think you will? You no. think Ryan Day is going to win 90% of I his games? I think Ryan Day is going to be very good. You think he's going to win? Uh, I don't think question. in his career he'll win 90%. Like, it, Urban is Urban is a special category of, of competitive and winner and everything right. else. But, like, from everything I hear, like, inside, the, just from buddies and stuff, like, Ryan Day, I think, and I met him, but I met him like super briefly. Yes, I think he's gonna he's gonna win over that that place pretty quickly. Okay, so let me look at Rich Eisen show researcher El Zuro, who had no idea I was going to him. Do the math for me. Seventy five percent winning percentage would be what? Is that ten and two? Is that ten and two? 
Can you look that up? Because you will not be able to handle a ten and two football season. No, you will be bitching and moaning. Well, and that's all the thing. So I've buddies. got one of my one of my best buddies, Corey, out here. Uh, he's a diehard USC guy, right? Mm. And so he is going on about, you know, we go we go to the USC Notre Dame game, they lose and not bowl bound or anything. And I'm like, man, we are so spoiled because like, yeah. if Ohio State loses one game a year. The sky, the world, the sky is falling. Any Alabama fan, when Saban moves on, it's going to be the exact same thing. You know, they lose more than zero games a year or one. It's get, The world is going to come to an end. And that's how we kind of feel over the last seven years. And even before that with Tressel, in all honesty. I mean, Tress, like, they won all the time. And the one year with with Fickle, who did a great job this year at Cincy, uh, you know, we lost oh, what, yeah. five Tom games Herman or six too. games. Own Tom Herman's Texas win too. You can own it all. Go for it. No, Dan I don't. Mullen. I don't. Dan, no. Mullen. Dan Mullen beat Michigan. He's from no, Urban no, Staff. no, 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 no. I'm you not doing that. All. Tom Herman. I'm not going to even do that either. Because that opens the door to another. Conversation, yeah, I don't want to get into that. that topic. So we'll just leave <laughs> Tom Herman where Tom Herman's at. <laughs> yeah. But I was shocked last night. I think right. we all were. Okay. Graham Rahal well, here on good. the Rich Eisen show. So what is the uh, what 75 uh, win percentage? Nine and three. Yeah, you we fought with a nine and three season. He wins seventy five percent of his games. See, you're not going to be able okay, to handle not thing, winning ninety percent of your the games. The other big key, yeah. And I heard you guys talking about Notre Dame earlier. Yes, you got to win the big ones. And typically, Urban is good at winning the big ones. He's winning it all, and of that's them. where it's even better. Like this year, after we lost to Purdue, it's like okay, we're done. But if we can beat Michigan, who cares? And so. Oh, after that day, my my life was was great, <laughs> and I didn't blow you up. I was super you were nice. quiet you were and, and whatever else. I but, didn't want uh, to hear from anybody, but I owned it. I mean, I, they, there was I was retortless. I had no retort. There that was, was no a answer. shocking, sh- shocking I'll stop. game. I don't need to hear that. Shocking game. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. Well, so do you think he's done? Because when uh, he was asked, do we have that soundbite? Do we have the soundbite uh, from yeah. uh, from uh, from Tom Rinaldi? Let's play this for uh, Ohio State Buckeye uh, fan. Uh, big uh, RLL uh, racer, uh, Graham Rahal. Let's check. Uh, I'm done tap dancing with the setup. Here it is. Well, the moment has come. What do you reflect upon? I reflect on I'm a very blessed person with my family. I'm very blessed. I've had some of the best coaches in college football coach for me. And you look at our rosters over the years, you could say is we've had the best players ever played this game. And I'm very proud of that. Never is a very big word. What are the chances we'll never see you lead another team out of a tunnel? I don't believe that's going to happen. If I'm going to enjoy it tonight. I don't believe I'm going to coach again. I mean, I don't. I don't know that I. Uh, I believe that Ohio State. I think was his dream job. When I met him and I spent some time with him at his office, he he was showing me pictures of him as a kid. You know, in Ohio State. I mean, I believe that part of it. But I I think that the passion, like Mac Brown, you know, mm-hmm. I think when it's in you. It's kind of hard to let that go. I do think the health stuff, of course, all my Michigan buddy, oh, you don't have any health problems. No, I'm sure he does. I think no, that no, he does, no, and no, I think no, that's no. probably, I think from a family perspective, that's probably the biggest thing that's kind of stopped him here and now. Right. But never is a big word. Like, when I when my dad retired, you know, he had raced his entire life. Dad, do you never want to drive a car again? Yep, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Four years later... You know, he's racing vintage cars. I mean, never is a, that's a loaded question. Um, but I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, maybe, maybe it is. He's got to have enough money, right? I mean, and, and he's won pretty much. Right. The only thing I think that could probably like burn away at a guy like that, which would be the same that would be like in our, in our world, you know, the Ray Halls and the Andretti's growing up. There was yeah. the Ray Halls and the Andretti's, you know, you just don't get them. And if, you know, to just put it bluntly, if Marco Andretti goes out there and wins an Indy 500 and I retire it someday and I don't win one, it's going to burn at me every day. And maybe, you know, for Urban, that's Nick Saban. I don't know. But um, that's the only way I could see anything change. But I don't know. I've never – I mean, I met him, but I've never really – I don't, I don't well, talk Urban to him. Right? Yeah, sure, and so right I don't now. know what his, his real sense of it is. But I would be really shocked if – that's it forever. I I firmly believe he's got health problems. You know what I mean? Like, I thought that the fact that he couldn't remember some important things about the Zach Smith situation because of his medication oh, okay. was a little bit, okay. a little bit dicey, yeah. okay? <laughs> and, 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 and a very pat explanation on behalf of 
Mary Jo White as to what certain yeah, things were. Yeah. But him bending over his waist at crucial moments at the in the Maryland game. Well, I mean, when he, he collapsed or whatever. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, when he, yeah, I mean, I mean that's this, not. That's serious and then they business. said he got hit. No, Honestly, no, 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 he no, never no, got no, hit. No, no. He, that's that. That is. He's not. He's not not joining a huddle yeah. just to put on airs about something. I think he's also pissed at what happened at Ohio State in August and September. I, do, I am too. And I think he made a decision that based on all together, I am done here and I'm going to win these last couple of games and I'm finished here. I thought at that time that that not because of him getting fired. I never saw him getting fired in that scenario, but I still thought that the stress of that time yeah. was going to probably be it. Um, he came back. Obviously they did a good job this year. And then as we just talked about, I just feel like Ryan day already had kind of won over the locker room and everything else. He did a great job at the start of the year. Um, he schemed a hell of a game against Michigan. I'll I just think like that th it was just the perfect scenario, you know, for him to, to kind of step in. But you look at like Trestle. I mean, Trestle could go coach at other places. Now uh, he's what the president of Youngstown state or something, which I get yeah. as a different size than Ohio state. But I mean, maybe, you know, maybe there are other roles for, for urban to, uh, to fit, but I use Mac Brown, you know, kind of as the standard because a guy that I like respect tremendously, I, I'm sure you know him personally, but, um, you know, to go back and coach at his age now. Oh, every coach, I mean, every coach. It's got to be in here. You know, the fire is always, particularly a guy as competitive as Irvin, the fire is here all the time. It's got to be hard to let that go. So are you going to, are you going to become a USC fan next year? Then? No. You'd be pissed, wouldn't you? He shows up at USC next year, you're pissed. A little bit, right? He, I, that's not going to happen. Mm, what's today's date? Uh, 1 2 19. Let's check in on 1 2 20. See where it was. We'll you really going. think that's. If if Clay Helton does not work out here and USC they will throw comes him knocking, a load, huh? They'll you, throw him every penny they can possibly find. Oh, yeah. And it's going to happen every year. Every year that but, there's a But, you know, UCLA job. did that to Chip Kelly, and how, how'd that work out this year? Well, I know it I mean, takes just, time. It does take time. But still, that. Urban at USC would be. It's the right market, you know, oh, I to throw Brian the guy Kelly. a lot. What about Notre Dame? That's another dream job of his, too, right? I don't see that happening. Um, I thought, I don't know. Like, you talk about. You're all over that. You right, talk Mike? about the Zach Smith scandal <laughs> and everything else, like, which is, which is obviously very valid. I feel like in Notre Dame, mm. yeah, man, Notre Dame being what it is, that should be. But Brian Kelly, I thought, pushed the limits of Notre Dame from kind of just the Look, rumblings of his past. But it, it's his job as long as he wants it. I don't think you could say that about Clay Helton right now. Yeah, I was surprised I it was his we'll just see. job next year. This is all I've got. This is all I'm hanging my hat on right now. It's all good. I really don't know, man. I, I have no clue, but uh, all I know is. They uh, they got it done yesterday, and it was okay. a good year. Okay, couple questions for you before I let you go. Uh, you get back in the car when? When are you back in the car? I'll get back in about a week, so we'll start firing up, start testing. Okay. Um, the Indy car this year is really the same platform as last. Uh, we've got some changes at our team. Last year, we 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 didn't get a win, which was disappointing. And the years before that, we had we'd gotten five in only a couple years. So you got we a need new to race engineer. Turn that around. The okay. Honda, the platform is the same, okay. but obviously, and actually our engines are built right up the road here, Santa Clarita. Okay. And so that will be, uh, I'm sure they've updated them quite a bit, but we'll find out. January 15th is the first time I get back in. Okay. Um, and then your first race is when? when St. Pete. St. Pete Grand Prix. That's okay. uh, beginning of March. Beginning of March. And then we got a couple new venues this year. We go to Austin, Texas, Circuit of the Americas, which is cool. We go back to Laguna Seca which is in Monterey, California. Awesome. The back straights named after my dad. And uh, we were raced there and oh, I don't know, 15 years. So a lot of, a lot of good stuff coming. And then uh, Soldier Strong is the yeah. program with, with uh, Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan Racing and the United Rentals Incorporated, which is what's yeah. right across your blazing right across your chest right now. What is Soldier Strong? So Soldier Strong is, uh, is, our, is a group that we work with. Our initiative is called Turns for Troops. Every lap I complete throughout the IndyCar schedule, United Rentals donates $50 a lap. Uh, we also host uh, the Graham Ray Hall Foundation Charity Golf Tournament in May. It's the Thursday before the Indy 500. Mm -hmm. And uh, our goal with Soldier Strong is to use higher technologies, things like exoskeleton suits that allows paralyzed veterans to walk again. Actually, one of our, our drivers that, that runs with us, uh, Robert Wickens, got in a really bad crash last year at Pocono and had a spinal injury, and he's using an exoskeleton currently to to uh, 
to, to get back up on his feet. And uh, but it's technologies that, that they're using now. It's developing into many other things. Um, but our goal every year is to at least buy one exoskeleton to the cost of about one hundred and fifty thousand. This year, thanks to United Rentals and all of our partners at our charity golf tournament, we raised over three hundred thousand dollars. So that's awesome. we got two two exoskeletons. But it's something kind of fun. If you go to turnsfortroops.com, you can follow it as as it kind of ticks over throughout the year. The amount of laps that we do, we update it. People can buy shirts that's similar like this, but all the money um, goes to goes to the foundation. Uh, goes to Turn for Troops. So it's really cool. I mean, obviously, anything that we can do, you guys do it a lot too. Anything we can do to give back is, you know, we're all blessed to be in the position that we're in and we owe it, you know, to, to give back, particularly to, you know, to veterans, to me, it's something special. United Rentals, huge, huge, huge company. We see them everywhere. Their equipment is all over the place, but they're the most charitable group I have ever been around by far. And so really it was their brainchild and, you know, we're excited to carry this thing on. That's awesome. Over uh, a half million dollars has been raised to date uh, since you started in 2016. Last one for you. What goes first, your mustache or Letterman's beard? Oh, probably the stash. <laughs> Letterman, Letterman agreed if, if we win the Indy 500, when we win the Indy 500. I like it. That the beard is, is a goner. Uh, but the mustache, look, this is a month in the making, okay? It's not pretty. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I'm not try it's not trying to be pretty, but my dad was known for this legendary thick stash. Yes. He didn't pass that down to you? And so no, the the facial hair thing was not passed down. So I um <laughs> my wife Courtney, she's very against this. Uh but I thought that <laughs> that I would give it. She told me on New Year's, she's like if you have that, I am not kidding. I will find somebody else to kiss. But I was the only guy in the room, so I was I was safe. Uh but safety numbers. I am I am going to uh this might last. Uh, dad is is dad's not a fan. Dad's I not a fan. Wife's I FaceTime dad the other day, and he's like, "Graham, no, <laughs> you, you got it. That's got to go." Uh, okay, but cool, uh, cool. we're gonna give it a shot. And uh, our you media you, day man. is at the you beginning be of you. February. If it's yeah. not pretty by February. It will, it will have to well, go. I don't know. I mean, uh, it's uh, right now, um, it's, like I said, it's, it's not good. It's a very boogie nights ish <laughs> type of work good. you've got working here right this now. This is the best I've ever been able wow. to achieve. <laughs> I turned 30 in two days, and this is <laughs> this is all I have. <laughs> I'm accepting it. Wow. And uh, wow. You know. So we 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 at least have the Letterman beard until Memorial Day. Is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. Yeah. We got a little while okay. for that. Right. Um, that's. I okay. don't think that is going to change though. Okay. So you can only can control what you can control. And that's, even if your wife and dad say, get rid of it, you be you. Graham that's, that's you I took a, I took a social media poll today on my Instagram and yeah. stuff about it. Man. And most of the votes are keep it. Keep going, bro. People like it. The people have spoken. We're going to try. <laughs> Graham Ray Hall at Graham Ray Hall on Twitter and also Instagram. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Thank Good you guys for you. having me. And I'm so glad you reached out to me with uh, a very <laughs> unkind cut, but you were very gentle about it, and it's led to you being here on the program. So it's good to see you. Well, thank you. Graham Ray Hall right here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.